What is up guys, it's Alex. And today I've got a pretty cool video for you guys. It has been a while since you have seen my face. I don't really get to see your guys' faces. I wish I did more, but it has been, it has been very, very busy in the Alex Red Fishing world um, between school and a student teaching and just all the stuff that comes with that I have been extremely busy I decided to just take a couple weeks off kind of get everything done I needed to get done prepare for my big kind of final project that I have to do and then get back on making some videos but today we're doing something pretty special we're heading down to Atlanta we're heading down to Westbrook supply company because tonight and hopefully you guys will have already seen this by now Gene Jensen Mr. Flugmaster and myself are doing a live from Westbrook Supply Company. So you guys will actually be able to come out and see us and hang out with us. Um, but that will be in the past by the time you see this, which is kind of complicated, but it's okay. But other than that, me and Gene are going fishing. I've got the old Bonafide loaded up and the people down at Westbrook are gonna be nice enough to let Bethany borrow a Bonafide and we're gonna go do some fishing this weekend somewhere in Georgia. When I asked where we were going, they said I'd find out when I took the blindfold off. So I, I, I don't really know what that means. But yeah, that's what we're gonna go do today. I've got the Bonafide loaded up. I got some G-Rods and some loose combos loaded up and we are about to hit the road and head down to Atlanta for this live and hopefully you guys will enjoy today's episode. kind of dark but we made it Scott said come to the last set of doors I think he said come down the breezeway oh come down the breezeway well, breezeway whatever I think this is a breezeway I'm not really sure what a breezeway is here's Gene's truck Wait. let's go this way that yep we'll figure it out this a breezeway? I don't know this is Gene's truck that's all that matters oh right there it is I think it's where we're supposed to be. see you guys tomorrow morning. guys we finally made it out to the lake this morning gene it disappeared i think i think he had to take a poop or, or something like that i'm not really sure what's going on scott is back over there somewhere getting bethany a life jacket we've got all the bona fides laid out here getting ready to get on the water and see what we can get done today according to scott hey scott we gonna catch him like biggins? That's my plan. We're gonna catch big fish today. Just you or all of us? Uh, 
Uh, no, I'm hoping, to be honest with you, probably all of you, and I'm going to have to be like, oh, well, I told y'all they were there. Well, you know. Bethany, how do you feel about getting in the kayak for the first time? It's going to be all right. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to have fun today. Mm -hmm. More excited than you did sleeping underneath the Chewbacca mask last night. Hey, that was really good last night. That was legit. You're welcome. Yes, Scott's the man. Scott <laughs> let us stay at his house because he's legit as all get out. But, yeah, so I'm going to shut up. I'm going to jump in the bona fide and... We're going to see if we can get Bethany's first kayak fish and maybe her PB today. Mm. Oh, God. He was like, yeah, I know you get the custom boat. And I was like, oh, okay, cool, man. Well, I know how hard I work. Like, not nothing can get you, but I put my butt to get this boat right here. Because <laughs> they don't, they don't hand them out. Yeah. Well, apparently they do, actually. Yeah, they gave me one. <laughs> Oh, right, ha, howdy. Bethany. Many unbearable hours later. All right, guys. So I thought I'd give you a little bit of a midday update here. I am fishless, but that's okay. I've still got time to put a couple on the boat. One guy that's with us has caught quite a few. I think Gene's caught one. Another guy caught two or three. No real giants yet or anything like that, but they're catching fish, which I'm not doing as of yet. But we're trying to get it figured out. I've been throwing a spinner bait, a Texas rig, chatter bait a little bit, a square bill, just trying to get all these fish figured out. It's, uh, it's been fun though, kind of breaking down this lake. Uh, doing uh or fishing in a place i've never fished before and i think this is a place that like i definitely want to come back to at some point with scott because i feel like in october like it's going to be ridiculous with a frog there's just a lot of shallow cover a lot of grass in this lake and you guys know i love to just beat the bank with a frog and, and try to catch a few but yeah so just a little midday day update there uh, we're going to keep on fishing scott we going to get on him i'm trying he's trying uh. I'm done. Yeah, I'm done too. It's, it's official. Ain't nobody catching nothing. I had a good time today. I got two bites and I'm just, I'm done. I'm, I'm going to paddle back to the boat ramp and I'm done. Did right you back? enjoy your trip? You talking to me? I'm talking to the camera and you. Oh, I didn't know. Did you enjoy yourself? Yeah, I did. You want to get a kayak? Yeah, I'll be good. You want to have fish have a kayak? Oh, I'll be good. You want to put a GoPro on your kayak? I know I can do that. You want to start making videos on your kayak? I don't know. I think it'd be fun. I can't. What do you guys it. think? Do you think it'd be fun? I think it'd be fun. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna paddle back to the boat ramp. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to go. I'm, I'm gonna go get Scott, and then we're gonna we're gonna call this some quits quits for today. All right, Scott, come here. I need you to tell the story because you're much more articulate than Thank I am. <laughs> that's that's a lot. Is that this is, too much? That is a lot. <laughs> what that's are we talking about? <laughs> that's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know what um, did happen today. Scott set us up for failure. <laughs> he did set us up for and failure. And then I and rescued then luckily, for success. There was no failure. Exactly. Well, and almost. The day was interesting to say the least. I got one bite. All day. Um, wow. Yeah, Gene ended up catching a few, and oh, it was just rough overall. But it was good. It was a good day to be out. Good day to hang out. Just you know, go fish, and use permits, and all kinds of cool <laughs> things like learned, that. Learned a lot about Georgia law. <laughs> we learned a lot about Georgia law. Scott, just just give us kind of a brief summary of what happened. So we're coming around the bend after seven or so hours on the water. And uh, we hear a motor fire up, and we're on a uh, on a on a private body of water that doesn't allow motors. Not and private. It's a private body of water. It's owned by the it's owned by the county. And well, let's uh, just stop there for a minute. Yeah, no <laughs> gas motors allowed. No gas but, motors. Absolutely. Okay. So we saw it. We heard a gas motor. I was like, "What is that?" Look over. DNR, real big on the side of the boat. I knew then we were in trouble. So you're supposed to have a bunch of different permits and things and all well, these things. Somebody failed to tear it, tell us before. Yeah, no, I mean I knew, I knew, and I had, but I didn't. And I had, but I didn't. But luckily, you know, with just uh, one written warning, 
and a whole bunch of verbal warnings, we got away scot free. Yeah. Scot free. Scot free. See what I did there? Yeah. I'm a thinker. It's you not need just to a pretty get that face. tattooed on your chest. Scot, scot free. free. Scot. Yeah. So that's what happened this afternoon. That's how the day went. And I don't know. 